Okay, that's what this whole sequester, the sequestration thing is about. Sequestration, basically, as we already read, it's about, um, well, it has three definitions, a legal definition, it has a chemical definition, and it has a medical definition. The medical is interesting about the bone because, you know, they, do, they deal with a lot of bones, skull and bones. Now, the prophets, right, the prophets, some of them right here, the prophets have already spoken concerning this particular matter. They already spoke concerning this particular matter. And in particular is the Apostle, um, the Apostle John, or the one known as John the Revelator, right, who uh, wrote the book of the seven seals that actually um, warned us most directly about this in the book of Revelation. And so here we have um, an artist's rendition of the, Apostle, of the Apostle John. Let's see if we can move this down right here. It's not so clear, and we give thanks to, you know, um, uh, Imam Isa, you know, or his uh, movement, you know, says, uh, give ones their due. I mean, of course, he is dead wrong on the lies and blasphemies against Hala Selassie, as that will become clear as you understand what is really going on, right? So what's really going on right now is that they're about to go into a conclave. The conclave and the sequester are connected. Now people say, oh, what way? The conclave, that's in Rome, to elect the new pope, to elect the new father. Can you imagine? They're electing a new father. Remember, the father in their system, in their Babylonian system, is the vicar of Christ. So they're electing a new father. So when Catholics pray, our father, who are they praying to? Another father in the sky or something? Is this Santa Claus? I mean, this is very, very serious. But the sequester, if you look at our video on um, sequestration, sequester, where we actually just go into the basic definition, the etymology, and the connotation, and the basic application. Now, it's interesting that so many people, they think they know, right, what sequester means. But why this word? Why this Latin word? You see, it's a code for those who are on the inside, right? Now, those who are on the outside, well, they basically really, you know, don't know. You understand? That's the, that's the whole point, right? Because they're on the outside of this. But Revelation tells us that we will come to a time when everyone would wonder after the beast, right? And John, right, who wrote the Book of the Seven Seals, or who was, who was given that prophecy, right? See, John revealed the truth about this. Now, this is actually a Roman symbol back here. Let's just show you right here. This is Gregory. Remember, remember Pope Gregory? Gregory um, the 13th, right? Keep that in mind. Gregory the 13th. Um, Gregory the 13th, it is him who decided, remember what the Bible said, they would think to change laws and times? So we think, okay, we're in 2013, right? a very significant year, especially for us as the once lost but now found Beta Israel, especially for us as so-called Negroes or really um, Hebrews. But the question is, is your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And many of those whose names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life are on the papal kill list. Now, the papal's kill list is acted out through these governments of the earth, especially those other, um, the, the, the three, uh, the, what they call it, the empire cities, the empire cities, such as London City, representing the great bitch or Britannia, you know, the the cunt queen, you know, of of, of Hingland, right? And she's been in the news too. Um, the American government, you understand, or D C specifically, and the office of president 
and now we have the holder of this office who actually his his bloodlines also links into the same family. It's a family affair, you know. It's a family affair. Yeah, but are, but you're not part of that family. At least we're not a part of that family. We're a, you see, their father is not our father. Let's just show you. See, this is our father, right? John Liz, this is our father. They know that their time is short. They know that their time is very, very short, right? And therefore, as it says in um, Revelation, and we want to touch on Revelation because we're noticing something very interesting. It's like everybody's like talking about who, who's going to be the next pope? Oh, the, the Vatican. Oh, the conclave. You know, and everybody's wondering after, right, is wondering after, this, uh, this, uh, what is it? <laughs> what is it really? Well, let's look at Revelation for a moment. Like I said, the sequester has everything to do. Check out our video where we define it. It's basically a jury. This is the jury. The conclave is the jury of the sequester. And therefore, since the Pope, right, the Pope runs this Babylonian system, right, they cannot really do anything, really. They can't move forward until certain things are resolved, right, until the property. Who are the property? Well, you are the property. At least that's what they want you to believe. Well, that's what, that's what they believe, and soon they, they basically are announcing it to you incrementally. You remember what it says about Babylon? Right, and we have a next video. Um, what was the name of this other video? Um, the next video we're going to put up there about the whole thing about the, the laws, how the Pope, the papal, the Sunday law. In fact, it's this particular document right here. Some of you all might have checked this out before, National Sunday Law. Some people say this will never happen. At least they said that it would never happen. But this is exactly what they're trying to bring, bring forward. I don't know if you've checked this particular where it says forces unite amid stupendous crisis stupendous, like stupid. Think about it. Stu People are stupefied, stupefied, not stupefied, but maybe stupefied, like stupidity amplified. They are, remember all roads lead to where? All roads lead to Rome. And behind Rome, all roads lead to hell. Mm -hmm. They even know it with their... Um, what is that thing called? The Petrus Romanus and the whole thing about how many popes and everything like that. They, they already know that because Jah has given them from here to here. Mm -hmm. From a specific time to a specific time. Right? Not, not a date. They, they don't really have a particular date, but they would know the date by the witness of the stars. See, this is how they know the date. And it's very interesting because the Vatican is very much on top of, um, you know, the Vatican is very much on top of, they have the, they have the most advanced scientific apparatus actually in the world, right? I mean, they have this Lucifer, this Lucifer um, telescope that actually looks at everything in, in, in space, right, um, through the more infrared because there's a lot of things out there Right? Some say it's Jah, some say it's God, some say it's, it's, it's the kingdom, it's the angels. Uh, you know, there's a lot of speculation about that, but they see, right, they see their time, you know? They see their time coming forward. And this also connects with this particular prophecy about the eight kings of Revelation, the next and the last pope. Now, some think that it's actually going to be somehow they're going to, you know, rework this guy. You know, John, John Paul II, right? And it's interesting, it's speculative, it's a theory. But what's not a theory is that we are at this particular point, or what is not just a theory, but a fact. You know, people make theories, and then the theories have to be proven real or false, true or false, all right? So let's touch on this right here. Mm-hmm. Let's touch on this for a moment. Now, what's very interesting is that when Johannes, right, when, 
when 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 John saw this, right? John saw this in the vision, and yes, he was a black man, or he is actually a black man, because he still is, right? All the righteous still are, right? The wicked are not. But let's go through chapter 17, the seven dooms, and it's the doom of Babylon. What is so very interesting is that um, the... Vatican, the papal institution, let's call them who they are. They're the Nicolaitanes. These are the Nicolaitanes, right? The Nicolaitanes are not the Catholics so much. In fact, the whole thing about the Catholic is a counterfeit of the original church. And, and that, that history there is interesting, it's deep, it's verifiable, and um, you can check it out for yourself. It's out there, right? But the Nicolaitanes, Nica, Nica mean conquer, and Laos mean the laity. They're the ones who conquer the laity. Because you keep finding folks coming up in the news and on TV and everything that's all interested. They're wondering who's going to be the next pope. You understand? They're all wondering after this, this, this beast, right, this, this Babylon. But here's the doom of Babylon, and we're first going to give you the divine view. Right? Let's touch on the divine view of Babylon, and, and and let's bring let's bring uh, Johannes right Johannes into into view right here right John the Revelator right so the divine view of Babylon what is it Mindeno Mindeno Yemi Guagua Be Alem Mindeno and there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vials and talked with me saying to me. Come hither, come here. I will shew to thee the judgment of the great whore, right? The great whore, the great biatch that sitteth upon many waters. Now, in order to understand this more correctly, the waters are symbolic also of peoples, of peoples, of, of nations, of groups, and the Scripture explains the Scripture, and the Scripture basically explains that as the proper interpretation of that um, symbol or that metaphor, right? Right? So this is, a real, this, is a, this is a real thing here, right? We're in it. We're in it right now. The sequester, remember the sequester, right? Is 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 is. Let, let me get the. Let me get this. Let me get this right here. Let me read this. Bring this over here. So I'll read exactly from the Webster's um, New World. Right, New World. You want to understand the New World order? Right. You better get your Webster's. Your Webster's Collegiate Dictionary. And, and the great thing about this is that you don't have to. You know. Um, pay any tuition. You know, the price of the truth is to pay attention. You know, you don't have to get any kind of um, grants or whatever else like that. To, oh, I got to go to school. I got to get an education. You got to study, you know. I mean, now people don't have the excuse like they had before where all the books were up in, you know, behind their their institutions and you had to be institutionalized in order to learn anything. Sequester. Here's what sequester means, right? Remember, sequester is connect. The sequestration is connected with this conclave, right? Just keep that in mind, right? You don't have to agree with it right now. You don't have to agree with it later. It is what it is. Sequester, right, means to remove, to lay aside, to separate from late Latin sequestrare, right? Sequestrare means to remove, lay aside, to separate. Latin is sequester, which is a trustee. Now, these uh, cardinals, they are trustees for the system or the world in which you live, and, and, and for this world system, for this seclorum, right? Seclorum. It almost sounds a little bit similar right there. We're going to make this a, a, a short segment and then hopefully come in with a longer segment. I think the next segment might be a short segment as well because we want to be able to um, post it on some of our channels where they've limited us. You know, if you speak the truth, then, you know, they will hate. They, they are haters, all right? They are haters, all right? So they hate the truth. They hate job, right? It says to set off or apart, to separate, to segregate, often to segregate or isolate. It means to isolate the jury, 
They're isolating the jury. They're isolating the, the cardinals because they're going to elect your new daddy, right? Who is going to be your new daddy? That is, that is the question that they are sequestering in their conclave to decide who is going to be your new papa, 